Well, this morning, we're going to have Sister Heather. She is going to be giving the word this morning, the rhema word. Are you guys thankful for the rhema word? Do you guys know that's the word from God? It's not just some something that's, you know, she's looked, you know, looked up and just repeating out and regurgitated, right? <laughs> Sorry, I have to say that, but you know, we, we've, we're led by the Spirit of God around here, and we pray and seek, just as Pastor does, pray and seek His face for what is being given to the congregation, and it's the rhema word of God, and it flows under the anointing of the house, amen, and so you're going to get the, the rhema, the God word for today, so open your hearts up this morning and just say, Lord, I am teachable this morning, and I have what you want to give me this morning, and I receive it. Amen. You know, the word of God talks about that they ate the word, you know. So we're going to receive it today. We're going to take it in today because just like our natural man, our spirit man needs fed. Amen. So we got both, but we got to feed both of them. So this morning we're going to feed your natural man the mighty word of God. So Sister Heather, why don't you come on up. And kids, we're going to go next door to Children's Church. Are you guys ready? Awesome. All right, why don't you guys, Children's Church, we're, kids, we're dismissed. Why don't you guys head up front? We'll let them kind of get settled a little bit. But thank you, Sister. Good morning. It sounds better than I've been. <laughs> um, so what we're asking, I've just been resisting some things. Um, God's been laying a message on my heart for quite a while, and it's just during my spare time. And it's something personal, but I believe we can all glean from it. And it's like a twofold message. It's talking about, I'll give you the title. It's, uh, if you seek him, you will find him. So, how many guys remember, like, the movie, Feel the Dreams? You build it, they will come. Right? So if you see God, He's going to come. He's going to reveal Himself to you. So, um, but there's a twofold. It's seeking God to know Him, to who He is, but it's also so you can present that to those that you're ministering to as well at the same time. Because you can't present something if you don't know who He is. So we're going to turn to Matthew chapter 20. Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of reading first. Um, verse 1, it says, For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire, er, to hire laborers in, into his vineyard. <clears throat> and when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. And said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth and ninth hour and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out and found others standing idle, and saith unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? They say unto them, Because no man hath hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and what silver is right that shall you receive? So when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the laborers and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. <clears throat> And when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. So, how many of you guys know that the Lord Jesus, he's called the Lord of the harvest, right? And so, the Bible talks about in Matthew chapter 9, verses 37, 38 through 39, it talks about how the, the harvest is plenty and the laborers are few, but pray that there be, that I send out laborers, right? And so, just imagine that there's all these people that are lost, that are broken, that are hurting, you know, and... The Bible, we just read that he doesn't want idle Christians. He doesn't want us just to be standing around doing nothing. You know, so many times if we get so um, caught up in our daily lives, we can just bypass somebody. What if they're facing thoughts of suicide? What if they're, you know, bound by addiction or whatever, depression, whatever the case may be? You know, God has people set before you to minister to. So um, if you go to Luke chapter 15... I'm going to start with verse 1, but not only is God desiring us to seek Him, but He's also seeking us. He's seeking us to and fro. He's seeking those that are lost. He's also seeking you out to have a better relationship with you. So if you go to verse 1 in Luke chapter 15, it says, Then drew near unto Him all the publicans and the sinners for to hear Him. And the Pharisees and the scribes murmured, murmured and saying, this man received sinners and eateth with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, 
What man of you having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, does not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders and, re and rejoicing. I'm going to get a drink just a moment. <laughs> All right, verse 6. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons which need no repentance. And then verse 8, just a little bit further. Either what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one piece, could not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently till she find it. And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbors together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I had lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of angels over one sinner who, who repenteth. So what this is talking about is, you know, Jesus, he, he came to seek and to save that which was lost. That was his goal, right? Besides kicking the enemy's butt, you know, <laughs> and stuff. But, you know, he, he's seeking those that are lost. You know, he wants, us, he wants to bring them home. But not only is he seeking that, but he's seeking you. He's seeking me. He's seeking out a deeper relationship with you and I. And so as we, he's not just going to reveal himself just to anybody. You know, you got to, you got to, he's a jealous God. He wants all of us, every part of us. And if we just give him a little bit, he's not going to give all of you, all of himself to you. Because he won't share his glory with anybody else. So you got to really seek him out with all your heart. And so... Just an example that God gave me is, how many guys have ever played hide and seek when you're a kid? So yeah, Jesus loves to play hide and seek. He does. He's waiting for you to seek him out. You know, he's he's waiting for you to really seek, and then he'll reveal himself to you. So let's go to Luke 19. Verse 1, it says, And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Name, okay, and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho, and behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among publicans. And he was rich, and he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature, and ran before, and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. So what well, the Lord spoke to me as I was meditating upon that verse for quite a while. And in verse 2 it says that, and he sought to see Jesus. So he wanted to know what the what the hype was about Jesus. He's like, who is this Jesus? You know, you know, what's this rigmarole about Jesus? I want to know who this is. And, like, have you guys ever been to, like, a concert or a parade or something, and you're trying to find out, you know, you're trying to see the person or whatever, and you're, like, on your tippy toes, and you can't, you know, because of all the crowd? That's how Zacchaeus was. He was so little, he couldn't see him. So he went ahead and climbed up into the sycamore tree. And Jesus saw that. <clears throat> and the Bible says if you, the Bible says that if you diligently seek him, you know, you will find him. And so... That moved Jesus' heart. His faith moved Jesus' heart. And so, you know, he's looking for that for you and I. And then, I, I, just another example is, like over 10 years ago, when I first met Pastor Ryan, there was something in him, in him that I wanted. You know, he had the true Jesus living in him. You know, I was amongst other Christians, but if I were to die, I probably would have went to hell. I wasn't living the way I should have been. You know, but he had the true Jesus living in him. And, you know, I probably wouldn't be here today if he didn't, you know, live it out, walk it out, and truly have Jesus living in him. So, you know, it's so important that we really, you know, allow him just to pour into us so that we can pour into others and really seek him out and know who he truly is. Um, let's turn to Jeremiah. Well, before that, <laughs> get a little ahead of myself. 
Back to verse 2, it says, And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was, no, I'm sorry, verse 3, and he sought to see Jesus, who was who was and could not for the press, because he was a little statue. So when I read that, and I just kept meditating upon that, I heard the Spirit of God. You know, God will speak to you, not like an audible voice, but that still small voice, if you just listen. He said, if you, if you seek me, you will find me when you search for me with all your heart. You know, that really ministered to me, you know, and it just it just really did. I just broke down and stuff. But if you go to Jeremiah 29, 11, Jeremiah 29, 11, I gotta find it. guys probably know what Jeremiah 29 and 11 is, most of you guys. It says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, but to give you a future and a hope or an expecting it. You know, that's for every single one of us. He has already that plan and purpose in store for each person that he created. But verse 12, it says, Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. So when you're, when you're ready to pray, when you're ready to seek God with all your heart, he's going to answer you. The Bible says, if you ask anything in my name, believe me, you shall receive, as long as it lines up with the word of God and his will. So verse 13, it says, and you shall seek me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. Now, obviously, I already had that in my heart because the Bible talks about in Psalms 119, to hide the word of God in your heart that you may not sin against him. And so the Holy Spirit brought that back to remembrance when it studied the word of God. And so that's what he's desiring each and every single one of us to do. And so, you know, he's, he's just desiring just to get closer to each and every single one of us so that we can go out and pour unto other people. You know, there's people that are, that are lost. They may not know, they may know about Jesus. They may know about, like, the Christmas story or Easter, but they don't really know him. They don't have that relationship with him, and so we got to present that in such a way where they can get free, delivered, and set free. you got to remember where you came from and stuff. So, just, I just want you guys just, I'm not very long today, <laughs> but uh, I'm not long-winded like Pastor Brian yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's all take. Oh, well, I didn't mean it disrespectful. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but uh, anyway, <laughs> if anybody wants any prayer tonight, the, today the altars are open, or if you just want to get closer to God. If you need to get saved, just come, come on up. I'll pray with you. Up to you. <laughs> All right, if not, then you guys have a blessed day. <laughs>